Hello guys, it's Lukash, and today I'm going to be analyzing a set from who I believe is the best Lucas in Wisconsin. Now, I know what you're thinking. Lukash, you're the best <laughs> Jokes aside, AD is clearly the better Lucas than me because although I do have results, AD's results are far, far, far more consistent than mine, along with a bunch of other things that he does that I don't. Um, so yeah, our Lucases are a lot different in playstyle. And, uh, let's hop right into it. Okay, so right off the bat, AD is up against a... Now, this matchup, uh, it can be quite difficult for Lucas at certain times. Um, when played 100% properly, I do believe Mega Man slightly beats Lucas in this matchup. But, uh, aside from the matchup, um, let's just see... Okay, so I can already see he's going to be playing, uh, he's going to be playing around with platforms. And he's going to be doing the passive techniques, um, such as really trying to play the long game and uh, just punishing a lot of stuff with Zare and taking out a lot of projectiles with Zare, or at least that's what it looks like. Yep. Okay, so he's doing very good at shielding all these projectiles. That is something I should definitely work on. Ooh, unfortunately he drops the conversion off of that down tilt. Um, there w at that range with the down tilt, there wasn't really anything he could have done. But uh, I would have liked to see, I don't know, something like a forward air. Nice punish with fair there. Okay, now that I don't necessarily agree with. I know what he was trying to do there. Um, he was trying to get him right as Mega Man was landing, but unfortunately, Mega Man can fall decently fast after that up B, so he got punished for that. Nice get up attack from ledge, actually. And once again, nice parry to get that fair. Nice, the full hop to avoid the lemons. Oh, now that was... That was really, really smart, because that had very little to no risk for AD. What would have happened there is either A, on one hand, Lucas would have absorbed that and would have gotten like a couple percent. I, I know it's not much, but he still take get, he's still, you know, healing. And then on the other end, it, that interaction would have happened where he gives the bomb to Mega Man and Mega Man takes percent and puts AD in, in the lead. Nice B reverse on that. Nice, 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 nice. So this is what I've been trying to tell a lot of the people that use Lucas out there. Even though it is not a true combo, you need to be fishing for that combo because that down tilt is so incredibly fast where even if they're off by a few frames on their air dodge, you can still get that forward smash. And even if the forward smash misses because they do a neutral air dodge, that puts them in a prime position for you to either grab them or down tilt or pretty much do whatever you want. And once you know they're going to start neutral air dodging, you can start doing down tilt down smash, which will kill way earlier. All right, he tries to get the bait, but unfortunately Mega Man was able to punish. Yeah. He's doing a really good job of spacing out Mega Man. Yeah, it looks like Mega Man is trying to hold forward a little bit more. Uh, I believe AD may have gotten a little bit into the Mega Man's head here. Ooh, and unfortunately, that's just a good edge guard from power. Not very much you could do there. Oh my! Yo, he's saucing. So, uh, pretty much, if you pause in between the first two jabs of that, uh, of that scenario there, um, Lucas has just enough frames where he gets a guaranteed down smash off of a tech, si tech situation. Okay, unfortunately, Power did not get that grab there. Okay, okay, so he he's 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 a I'm a head kind of Lucas. He's a tail kind of Lucas. 
Nice, 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 nice. I don't know if he was trying to do that. If he was, that was really, really, really smart. Because even though his PK Thunder missed, um, if it would have hit, there's a chance it would have killed Mega Man. And even if it didn't, since the Mega Man went in for the punish, Mega Man's bomb hit the Mega Man. Okay, now this is just the slow waiting game. And uh, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure AD just uh, has this in the bag, really. Unfortunately for power, I mean. Good for AD. Yeah, that's... Okay. <laughs> okay, nice punish. Going for the grab instead of the nair. Uh, the jab, I mean. Uh, now that was good because uh, obviously Lucas's jab sends out a very awkward tech scenario there. Nice PK fire. Nice PK fire to get that metal blade out of there. Once again, whiff punishing. Oh, nice, nice. That turnaround F smash is so good for Lucas, or that drift back F smash. Ooh, he almost gets the conversion off that down tilt. Nice parry from the Mega Man. All right, nice, nice use of forwards. So, oh, that is that was a really good PK Thunder. Nice, and that is going to do it. Now, as you can see, uh, AD is definitely a more slow based get inside your head kind of lucas he's very good at not committing too much and that is something that i am definitely gonna have to look into but yeah right on right on very well played from ad there play style so he's going to try his hand at simon here so we'll see we'll see what happens Once again, it never ceases to amaze me how good AD really is at maneuvering around projectiles. Nice, nice punish. Okay, unfortunately, uh, I would have liked to see an up air um, instead of an up tilt in that situation. Because after that up air there, if you do it, if you time it perfectly, you have enough time to get another up air off of that up air that sent him like right there on that platform. So, uh, if he would have gotten another up air, that Simon would have eaten at least another, at least another 28%, because off of that up air, you can either get another up air or a forward air. Nice, nice, nice. Good job using that double jump cancels there to get rid of that, uh, side B. That was very smart. Ooh, I like that absorb cancel. Nice double jump cancels there. Unfortunately, that should be it. Yup. Oh, wow. That was really good use of the tail, making use of the lingering hitbox. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, okay. Um... I really disagree with that up tilt there. Uh, AD off of that up air had a guaranteed nair, and nair guarantees into forward air. So I would have liked to see the falling up air convert into a nair, into a forward air, or, or if he wants to get spicy and try his hand at something that isn't 100% consistent but works most of the time, he could have done up air nair and then tried to go for some uh, several successive up airs. So he could have gotten a much bigger punish than 22%, but that does put Simon in a very awkward position. Nice use of Zare there. Calling out the mistech with the forward tilt there. Good reflection. All right, nice, nice. Personally, I would have done a grab in that scenario because uh, double jump cancels there into grab is true. And uh, off of that, you can get a back throw. And against Simon, he's pretty much dead if AD plays his cards right. 
alright? Good use of PK fire, knowing when power is going to approach with uh, Simon. Nice spot dodge, he, he just knows. Okay, unfortunately the Simon did not go for a punish there. He could have punished that, but... Okay, not getting hit by the up B after that down air there. Good punish, good punish. And this should be death if he does it right. Yes, that that, that is death. Good job for AD there. Okay, unfortunately, the Richter knew that time. Going really deep with that Nair. That was very, very risky. Nice grab. Mash is out of the grab very fast, but unfortunately that forward tilt is going to be waiting there to get that uh, to get that ledge option there. Using the back air to deflect that, that was really nice. Even though it's not like a deflection or, or, a, or a reflection, it still works because it gets rid of the cross. Okay, now, believe it or not, I really, really like this PK freeze right here. This is perfect. If AD can react to what the Belmont is going to do, if the Belmont rolls, he could just be dead. If the Belmont does a regular getup, he could just be dead if he mistimes it. And the biggest thing, if the Belmont jumps, he's dead. No matter what, he's dead. So that covered a lot of the a lot of options. Unfortunately, power there it just saw through it and got the get up attack. Nice reflection, reading that he's going to try to punish the reflection and getting that up air before Simon can do anything about it. All right, I would have liked to see a forward air punish there uh, after that side tilt, but hey, it, it works. Okay, unfortunately, he did not get the right hitbox on the up B that'll kill. And ooh, sadly, Simon just can't recover. So as you can see, AD is a very good Lucas player and he knows how to abuse Lucas's strengths. And the big part is that he does a very good job of not letting other players put Lucas into uncomfortable scenarios. For instance, when he's at ledge, he's not at ledge for very long. When he's in disadvantage, just general disadvantage, he's finding ways to maneuver around the opponent's attacks, maneuvering around the opponent's projectiles, and choosing the right ledge options at the right time to avoid greater discourse in the disadvantage state. So, honestly, good job, AD. I feel like uh, you are doing an amazing job, and I tip my hat off to you. You are very, very good. However, one thing I will say about AD is that although his advantage state is very strong because he stays in advantage state for a huge chunk of time, I will say I would like to see his advantage state be a little bit more explosive. Uh, for instance, you saw it right back there with that falling up air at 0%. He could have gotten a much bigger punish than an up tilt. And a few other situations with just some upper scenarios where he could have snagged a few extra percents with his combos. Other than that, AD is an excellent player, and in my still in my opinion the best Lucas in the state. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the way I look at things. I hope you guys enjoyed that little analysis. If you'd like more content, just let me know. Have a great day, guys. Signing off.